what is up everybody welcome back to my channel today we are here at jackson park in a field we're doing some fr it's form work friday time and we're doing four hands so we have all the pyros out well not all the pyros i want to make sure i don't throw too many four hands because i know if i do that i'll start to hurt right here so i'm going to try to um I'm going to try to pitch count myself by only bringing five or six and then throwing them back and forth a couple of times. Uh, the very, very far tan patch is about 270 away, so that's where I'm aiming. I want to see if I can hit it there all hyzer. I don't know if I have that distance, but it's while we're trying. Nope, that's not good. I don't think I got 270 all hyzer. <laughs> Not a good showing. So the very far tan patch is about 320-ish. The sh next closest is 240. I'm going to throw these flat to, flat to slight Anheuser and see how far they go. If you ever need to go over something and then drop back on the back side of it, that's what you do. Full rip and see how far we can get them to hang in the air. About as far as I can throw one of those. Okay, I think these are gonna be the last four hands for a while. I'm just gonna do a nice consistent release at like maybe 80% power, nothing too much, but I still want to give them an, a good rep. I know this is post brook um, not the one from yesterday I realized when I was trying to edit that video that I didn't really explain what my forehand is or why I'm having problems and why I need to work on my forehand when I throw my forehand because I came from an ultimate background where it's a lot of popping and wrist motion it's a lot of throwing it down but nose up because otherwise with an ultra star if you throw an ultra star flat to nose down it will roll basically every time so when I was a younger child learning how to throw a forehand a lot of air bounce forehands the problem is 
now that I'm throwing harder, faster, stronger, I don't know how to throw not air bounced. So I've been trying to work on forehanding hyzers and maybe that works. And I have a couple of discs I'm gonna just toss out on a hyzer today and see if that does as a forehand. This is a pyro. This is my main go-to approach fair or mid-range forehand disc. So I'm gonna throw this first, try to demonstrate what is going on with my form, and then see if these three discs, I have a virus, a peach, and an essence. See if those will help fix it. All right, now we're gonna go peach. I'm gonna be looking at the footage as closely as you guys are because I don't know if I'm fixing my form yet. <laughs> There's only one way to fix it and that's to work on it. If you do happen to spot what is causing or a way to fix the air bounce forehand issue, make sure to comment down below. And until next time guys, see you out on the course. The technique. Mm -hmm.